Hi there, we are nearly there. Uh, in the eighth video, we will be focusing on creating a call to action section. Uh, we will be playing around a little bit with position absolute and position relative and creating a white button. Let's look at it. Great, so we have the events. Once this one ends, we don't need another divider. Now we will do the call to action section. Call to action section. So what's the spacing? 100. We will do now a 100. So we have another section here. Events home, which are now 70. There is no margin between these. So we want to do 100. And now we want to do another section similar to this one because this one actually has a background so we want to do section content we don't want obviously any service wrap here but we can keep the we can keep the heading so content not content section we want to do uh cta violet home section and that will be the full full violet, not the hover it. All the text on this one will be white. We want to do uh, spacing here. So this one will have 75 from top and 70 from the bottom. So section content. And we will put a div block inside the content. We will put everything in it. We will do 75 padding 70 from here let's do this again we will put the bigger one here idpi we will do this one as relative to be able to put this one in the corner absolute bottom part of the thing and this one we will put the content we will put this one on top of it so here hello wrap is the similar to what we are building now which is here right but it's already getting the color and we don't want that hello text hero but here we will use CTA label text and we will use the same but we will do white right div block this should be actually a Hebrew divider deco and we will just duplicate this one to have the same line Actually, we can do it like this CTA divider deco, and we will put it as white because it seems to have some opacity. Great, and we will have it as ready to join us yet, but it should be again the jumbo, jumbo text as we use on a home section, hero section. Sorry. And that's hero heading. Hero heading. Which is the same styling, but we want to do CTA heading. And we use 35, so we're good. Probably we doesn't have to we don't have to use 60 because we are already doing the padding somehow. Hello wrap, we didn't ruin it, good. And now we want to pull the button, but do it as a white one. So we will do it like this. And as we already know, we will obviously do a flexbox here to align it together. Flexbox, center it right now. And now we need to figure this out. So this one is here, hello wrap. Uh, and we want to do the spacing here using that instead of the headline. So otherwise we have the button somehow flying around. Which means 
maybe we can do the CDA heading styling and then do the hero hello wrap. Uh, we can do CTA label wrap and then here do the 35 and then from this one we can do zero and zero because it already has custom class and that's nicely aligned together we will do 30 to move it slightly through the side or 50 I'm doing 50 here so let's do 50 violet button big violet button but we can duplicate this one and has it have it as a big white button we can actually change this one to button because we will be using this one custom all the time so big violet white text will be a text will be black but it should use visby though not gray cliff so let's do visby i haven't noticed that before bold and then if we will go to big white button it's already nicely yes 14 and then it's doing the violet so big white is doing violet okay violet text block button and then we will do this as a wrap so cta copy wrap cta content wrap and this one is a cta content content and we have the image cta background background image awesome for the better understanding for of the structure i think this one should be just text so we can call this one again heading cta and it's not getting the the properties which means 62, 72, FISB, bold. Ready to join us yet? We have a FISB. Bold 62, 72, and white is getting from the from the div block. Awesome. So we have the call to action section. Call to action section. That's a really funny name. And we wanted a quick hover state for the big white button. So I guess if you hover over the white button. It can go slightly violet. Yep. Great. So we are having the call to action section done. And the last thing which we want to do is a footer and we are almost done. So that was the call to action. If you run into any issues again, please let me know in the comments. And if you like these videos, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. It will really mean a world to me. Thank you so much.